Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Today I am going to show you how to add an extra hard disk to your Windows 10 virtual machine on VMware Workstation 16. Don't worry if you are using the different version on even the EXI, the steps are pretty much the same. So if you look into my screen, I have a Windows 10 machine and this Windows 10 machine, I have only one hard drive and this is also going to be full. But I need one extra hard drive to save the my data and some other stuff so what i'll do is we have to just shut down the system so this is my windows 10 virtual machine let's power it off okay you can see here the system got powered off now we have to go and edit this virtual machine and after editing the virtual machine you have to go and click on the add here inside the add you can see here there is the first option is hard disk and there is there are multiple options where you can add cd drive floppy drive network adapter there's a multiple uh, hardware you can add it so as of now we are going with the hard disk so let's click on next and see it says that recommended one so until unless you know which hard drive you are going to add if you know that well and good but you have to go with the rec i would suggest to go with the recommended one so click on the next and it says that create a new virtual disk or use an existing virtual disk or use a physical disk for advanced user so we need a new disk here so let's click on the new disk here and it says that how much space you want so for me it's a 10 gb is enough for me for my task and here you can see there is a two option here just see carefully it said allocate all disk space now so what will happen like when you don't check this box it will create this 10 gb disk but it will not use your 10 gb of your hard drive of your physical hard drive it will not use your hard drive space yes that's correct I mean, let's say uh, you have a 100 GB hard drive, right? And when you create this disk with this method, it's not going to take this space. I mean, it will show you, it will show you like uh, um, 99 point some MB, MB space. This is created just a reference. So what I'll do is we'll just create a single storage and click on the next. We are not going to allocate the space now. And then let's click on the finish. And you can see here, this new hard disk is added and click on the OK now it's time to power on the virtual machine so this machine is going to power on now okay so system is back now now we have to log in to our windows with the credential okay and now we have to go so when you go back to this pc it won't sh it won't show you the hard disk here so what we have to do is first we have to initialize this how do you do that so right click on it let's right click on it and click on the manage here just click on the manage and after clicking the manage it will sh it will open some few options here you can see and then you have to go to the disk management inside the disk management you can see here disk 1 10 gb and it's a, a red color that means this is the offline this has not been initialized so to, what we have to do is you have to first click, right click on it and click on the online okay and then you have to click on the initialize disk and this initialize disk you have to select the disk and you have to select the which mbr record you want so we want to go we want to go with the mbr click on the ok so now this disk is ready and it's it's been initialized now it's time to create a partition so you can see here is still in my this pc i'll let me show you this is still is not showing you the partition here so right click it click on the new simple volume next next and you have to assign this uh, name of the disk okay we are okay with this name click on the format and now you can see here now this uh, partition has been created and you can see here this is the e drive and showing the 9 gb space some 9.99 gb space so you know um when even though even you're hard, adding the hard disk to your system or your laptop uh, it will show you the red here so we have to go and we have to first bring it online after that you have to initialize the disk so after initializing the disk you have to format it and make it ready so it's the, actually this is exactly the same whether you do it on the virtual machine or your physical machine so these are the exactly the process is exactly the same so that's it for today's video if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video